So in this video, I'm gonna teach you all about square and cube roots and all about how they work. Now, when first presented with this symbol, you might think, Erm, what the sigma? But I can assure you, it is A-okay. <laughs> That's so okay. What's good? Pythagoras here. For your first equation, I'm gonna give you one of the most beta square roots there are. You probably know the square root of 16 is 4, but do you know why? Think of the index as the number of dimensions you're taking away. Here's the square of the area of 16. Find the side length in square, and you'll get 4, which is also the square root. For the next problem, let's do a cube root. Let's do the cube root of 64. Here is a cube with an area of 64 units. For cube roots, there's an index of 3, so let's take away 2 dimensions. First the length, and then the width. Holy sigma! Now what's four? That's a cube root for you. Let's move on to the next problem. For the final alpha male, the big daddy of all the skibbities. <laughs> for our next equation, it's the cube root of 216 minus the square root of four. According to the order of operations, we must first simplify the cube root of 216 minus the square root of four. After some skibbity math, you get six minus two. If you can't get six minus two, you're a beta boy from all The answer is four. Now remember, kids, stay in school. It makes you better at Minecraft. Wow, Pythagoras, you sure do have a key guy. 